Good morning. Kenny Jacobs from Bloomington, Illinois. First of all, I want to say uh, thank you to all of my subscribers. I've been uh, recently got quite a few new subscribers, and I really appreciate that. And I uh, hope that you will share some of these videos with people, and we'll continue to get the word out about current events as it relates to Bible prophecy. There is absolutely so much going on every day now, all around the world, and, and all the events come together so fast, it truly is hard to keep up with. It's mind-boggling how much is going on. And what's even more mind-boggling is with all that's going on, people still don't want to see it and they don't want to believe it. Now, I'll be the first to admit, one, you, you can't date set, and every time people date set, they're wrong, and it makes it makes Christians and it makes Bible prophecy believers look, look stupid. So, I'm going to tell you that God's ways are His ways, not man's ways. And God has His plan, and His plan is going to come to pass on His timing, period. There's nothing about, that's not even up for debate. But I'm also going to say that God has given us so much in His Word to tell us when those days are near. And that these prophetic signs are there for a reason. We still don't know the day or hour, but we can certainly know when we're close. And God's ways are so incredible, and, and God does not want anyone to perish. He's a very patient God. He wants all people to come to repentance. With all the things that are going on right now, it's hard for me to believe that time isn't absolutely short and his returns at the door. I want, my feeling is almost that if he doesn't come back soon, if the peace treaty isn't signed soon, it's simply because God's grace and mercy and he's and it's because of the fullness of the Gentiles. He's waiting for the church age to end. He's waiting for as many people to be saved as, as can be saved or will be saved. And it's just through his grace and mercy that the return isn't happening. I mean, the, the, the events are absolutely spiraling out of control now. And what's interesting, you know, is, is today, the Son of God opens it, and all around, you know, the theaters all around, and it's going to get a lot of, it's going to get millions and millions and millions of people going to see it. Is, it, is, this, the, is this one last warning? Is this one last attempt at God to say, I am God, I am sovereign, Jesus is my son, I sent him for a reason, and I'm sending him back very, very soon. So pay attention, because this is one of your last warnings, and you need to be ready. I don't know, that's just a feeling I'm getting in my spirit. And then it says, as in the days of Noah, it will be when Jesus returns, and I believe next month in March, the Noah movie's coming out. It just seems to me God is really trying to warn us and to speak to us. So let me go through a few more recent developments and, and a little background information on a, on a couple of things. More peace treaty developments. comes out uh, on Wednesday that President Obama is going to take a more active role in the peace negotiations. John Kerry's been basically doing it all lately, but Obama's going to get more involved. And I'm going to post some articles in the description box of this uh, video for you to look at, but basically they're saying that Obama is going to pressure Netanyahu and Abbas to accept a U.S. framework agreement by the end of April, which would then allow them to expand the talks and hopefully sign, they say their goal is to sign the actual final peace treaty later on this year in 2014. And as, as the Bible says, when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction is going to come upon them. Well, wh why would we doubt that when we have our president brokering this peace deal that neither side really wants? I mean, the headline in the article actually says Obama is going to pressure 
Abbas and Netanyahu to accept an agreement. How is the peace treaty going to hold up when they're pressured to sign it? And then last October, Pope Francis met with the Palestinian leader Abbas, and during the meeting, the Pope gave Abbas a pen. And he was quoted as saying, Surely you have a lot of things to sign. And Abbas replied, I hope to sign a peace treaty with Israel with this pen. I'm going to post that article in the description box as well. Now, March 27th, Obama is going to visit the Vatican to talk to Pope Francis. One of the main things on the agenda, this peace agreement. Another big thing on their agenda is the whole income inequality stuff that's gonna, that they, they see as, as a problem. That when, when the Pope and, and our President are talking about income inequality and a peace deal, it just makes me start thinking more about the one world economic system, one world religion, one world government. And after, the, and after oh, this coming Monday, Obama is going to meet with Netanyahu at the White House and again push him to sign the framework agreement. He will then meet with Abbas later on in March, around about the same time he's going to meet with Pope Francis. <clears throat> so we see that the, the peace treaty discussions are definitely heating up. And we've got some very major players in the discussions. Now, going back to the Pope for a minute, when Pope Benedict was still the Pope, there was a scandal with his butler who leaked some of Pope Benedict's private documents. And I want to thank Andy Firecharger who does videos on YouTube. I subscribed to him. I suggest you do too. He does some great work. And he did a video, video this morning that reminded me of this, and that's why I'm bringing this up. Mm -hmm. That after that scandal, the Vatican now tracks their employees and the priests there with RFID tags, with GPS. Again, the RFID chip is probably going to end up being the mark of the beast. That kind of technology that will be implanted in the right hand or forehead. Need I remind you again, you go online, you're going to see a lot of people denying this, you're going to see a lot of so called myths debunking this, but it is a fact. Of course, the government's going to debunk it, of course, the government's going to say it's not true. But the Obamacare Act does have an implantable device in it, and they want it in everybody's implanted into everybody by 2017. It is a fact, it is there. Um, so you've got the Vatican already using RFID technology, and you have the, our president with that in the Obamacare Act. And then when Joe Biden was... When Joe Biden was questioning John Roberts in his hearing to become a Supreme Court Justice... He actually said to Chief Just to, to John Roberts at the time, Mark my words, you will have to rule on microchipping Americans. Mark my words, you will rule on that. And in the, in the, isn't it interesting that John Roberts, who actually is a conservative judge, ended up being the one who cast the deciding vote to uphold the Obamacare Act when it came up before the Supreme Court. There is just unbelievable amounts of things going on right now. And I'm telling you, we need to keep a close eye on the Vatican with this and, and, and Obama and, the, and these meetings with Palestinians and Netanyahu. Time is getting so short. Like I said earlier in this video, if it doesn't all come together right now, it's God's grace and mercy extending time because every single sign he prophesied would be here that he gave us is happening and I've noticed a, a dangerous I guess belief and that is 
And I've noticed this even in the church. When you talk end time prophecy, even people in the church say, well, you know, every age, every point in time, people thought that it was the last days. No question that's true. Absolutely, that is true. But the book of Daniel said, seal up the prophecies until the end time when knowledge is increased. And technology expands. And obviously in the last 50 years, it's exp that's, that's what's happened. And we now have the technology necessary to track every human on the planet and have the one world government. He gave us the prophetic signs for a reason. And now we're in danger of saying, yeah, but you know, we've always thought that was going to be the case and we won't really know. And that's, that's a dangerous way of thinking. When I don't know how many times it says in the Bible, I need to look this up and find out. It says, watch. It says to be ready. God told us to be ready. I plan on being ready. It says to watch and pray always that you're accounted worthy to escape. All these things are going to come to pass. And when you see all these things beginning to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws nigh. And when all the prophecies that revolve around Israel and end time events with Israel are coming together like talk about building a third temple and talk about a peace treaty with Palestinians and Israel, you know the return is right at the door. And when you see people who actually now have microchips in them, And it's, you know, it's, it's getting promoted as a really cool cutting-edge technology that, you, that everybody needs to have. I'm talking about how beneficial it is. And how you have your health records right in your hands. If you go rush to a hospital on an emergency, they got your records right there. How, can, how convenient is that? How safe is that? It's not safe at all because the Bible says you put that chip in your right hand, you're damned for your eternity. I wouldn't call that a safe thing to do. Do not trust what the government tells you about the health care plan. It's proved already since the rollout last October that n <laughs> what people said was bad about it has turned out to be true. And what they said about it obviously it was lies all along. Remember, Obamacare Act is not about health care. It's about control and the new world order. And now President Obama is getting more involved in the peace treaty. 2014, wow, fasten your seatbelts, get ready, this is going to be an unbelievable year. Honestly, the trumpet could sound at any, at any given moment. And then it will be too late and you'll be stuck and face hell on earth. It is time to get ready. Jesus is coming back soon.